If you don't want to go to your next party empty-handed, bring a bottle of wine and make it extra nice by carrying it in a handmade wine carrier. This project is a great way to utilize fabric scraps, plus people are sure to love your unique carrier. Let's get started. For supplies, I'll be using three different fabrics. My main fabric and lining fabric are both cotton and I'll need one third of a yard of each. I'll need one eighth of a yard of faux suede for the handle or you can also use cotton if you like. I'll also need all purpose thread and one third of a yard of fusible fleece. For tools, you'll need a sewing machine, iron, pattern paper, ruler, pencil, scissors, pins and needles, sewing gauge, and fabric marker. First, let's make our pattern. On your paper, draw a rectangle that's 12 inches by six inches. Then on both corners on one of the six inch sides, draw a square inside the rectangle that's one and a quarter inches by one and a quarter inches. These squares will be cut out of the rectangle to give you your final shape. This pattern should fit any standard size bottle of wine. Use your pattern to cut two from the main fabric, lining, and fusible fleece. You'll also want to cut out your handle, and I'm just cutting out a strip that's four and a half inches by 13 inches. Apply your fusible fleece to each of your main fabric pieces. The bubble texture side of the fleece goes to the wrong side of the fabric. Place a damp press cloth over the area and set your hot iron over one spot. Wait for about five seconds and then move on to the next section. Do this until you've fused all of the fleece onto the fabric. Place the main pieces right sides together and pin the two long sides and the short side. Sew these sides at your sewing machine using a quarter inch seam allowance. When finished, press your seams open. You want to repeat these same steps with your lining pieces, except on the short side, put a pair of X's two inches apart. You'll still be sewing a seam on all three sides, but there will be no stitches between the X's. For both the main and lining, we'll next have to sew each of the corners. Pull the corners apart to match the seams. This will give you an angled edge. Pin and sew a quarter inch seam. With the main piece wrong side out and the lining right side out, place the lining inside the main piece, lining up the top edge and the seams. Pin all the way around. Sew around the top with a quarter inch seam allowance. Pull the lining away from the main piece. Remember that we left the area between the X's open with no stitches. With this opening, we can now pull everything right side out. Once everything is right side out, use a slip stitch to sew the lining opening close. I just tucked in the raw edges in order to make sure that I have a nice folded edge and everything's lined up. I'm using thread and a hand needle to sew the slip stitch. You can see I'm coming up on one side. I'm just gonna grab a little bit of the folded edge on the opposite side, pull my thread, and then go back to my first side directly across, grab a little bit of the folded edge again, and then go back to the other side. Just zigzagging between the two sides, pulling my thread in between until I've done the whole opening. Now you can put the lining inside the main fabric and give the top a good press. Edge stitch around the top opening. This will keep the lining inside and make it look neater. Let's make our handle. Fold the fabric in half lengthwise and pin on the three raw edges. Leave another pair of X's on the long side about two inches apart. Sew a quarter inch seam on the pinned sides, not stitching between the X's. Cut off the corners and flip the handle right side out. Tuck the raw edges of the opening into the handle and pin so that you get a nice straight edge. Then edge stitch around the whole handle. Pin the edges of the handle so that it overlaps with the top of the carrier by one and a quarter inches and is centered on the side seams. Sew a box around the handle end by stitching on top of the edge stitch and across the top of the carrier. When sewing, be careful to pull the other parts of the carrier back so you don't accidentally stitch through the other side of the carrier. Use your fabric marker to draw an X inside the box, then stitch on your lines. This will help reinforce your handle. Here's a look at the finished carrier, both the front and side views. Now all you need is a nice bottle of wine for a complete party gift. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe to get notified of our weekly releases. Also check out professorpincushion.com to view our complete library with well over 350 sewing tutorials. If you would like to directly support us, you can check out our Patreon campaign and earn some exclusive perks. Thanks for watching.